So. Uh, just for the start, have you installed Blender 2.8? Simon. Si Simon. Hey. Uh, yeah, just only Simon. It's, uh, do you have installed Blender? It's already open for me. Okay, so you already have installed the Paradox plugin? Uh, In official Paradox plugin. Yeah, the PDX Planner tools, if that's what you mean. Yeah, uh, this one. Yeah, that one, correct. Um... So, uh, but it is urgently necessary that you have and let me check splash screen splash screen splash screen you see here uh version 2.8.1.8 i think i already used 2.9 but yeah, yeah 2 .9. that's not good you need to have 2.8.2.81 if you maybe not have an idea to get it i can give you a link uh, I mean, versions. that should be too hard. Previous versions. I got it. You got it? Yeah, I just need to quickly download the update. Because this is the link. So far, I know uh, Rossi was updating his uh, plugin for 2.9, but in 2.8.1 it's working, so never change the running system. Yeah. <sighs> and still waiting for Rust. Anyway, for the for the for the capturing here, I will show you the. Bu 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 yeah here this one this one is the version of back uh plugin which is working with this version of blender pretty well and this both i have installed this version and this bug fix uh bug fixes version it's called just bug fixes okay it's branch bug fixes <laughs> So far, nothing else is needed. Oh, wait a second. We need, maybe for further, uh, for advanced developing, um, GIMP. So let's go to the GIMP page. I already have GIMP installed. GIMP. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, so I have really lots of new stuff here. It's, 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 it's Windows uh, first time since five, six years. Uh. GIMP. Oh, maybe I installed it already. GIMP. Oh yeah, okay. So it's coming. Oh, it's Windows. It's pretty slow. <laughs> Tell me about it. Linux. It would be already started twice. Oh my god! Okay. So do I have installed a DDS plugin? For DDS you could also just use paint.net. Uh, Microsoft product? No way. Uh, no, uh, paint.net is not a Microsoft product. It's independent. I need... Okay, so, um, export. Export. Okay, I have installed it. Uh, 
Uh, open DDS. Load map maps. Okay, it's working. Okay, fine. Good. So, Russ, what the hell is so interesting on UK wireless update? Uh, the failure of the British government, maybe. Yeah, but it's nothing new. It's like Berlin Airport. It's come on. Yeah, but it's that's already something new and exciting. It <laughs> fails. That's why. Just like the Berlin Airport. So anyway, uh, what is the point? Is I have no idea if he's watching or not. So this is the point. Russ. Okay, so at the very mm, first uh, moment, you have this screen. So I can make it new. So it's it's Control uh, N, Control N. It's new. In general, don't save. So you have a pretty new file here. It's it's uh, the the standard of this version. With uh, delete, you can with num block delete, you can. Uh, you don't have to teach me the basics in Blender. What you have not? I uh, no no you don't have to teach them to me. I have like over one thousand hours in the program. Okay. So, so but it's, it's not for you. Ah, huh. yeah, but I... it's okay. It's okay. Just skip this moment, okay? So yeah. um, furthermore, what 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 do we want to do? We want to to export this one, this this cube, into the game. This cube, you can move it and whatever. Important is where the little dot here is. This little dot is in the game always the zero 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 coordinate for each uh, um, direction. X uh, X Y uh, X epsilon. Uh, it doesn't make anything. X epsilon and Z. So so th for this you need always. Um, the origin Z to the zero 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 coordinate in Blender two before you before you export and they changed it here in this user interface. I just need to search. Wo haben die das hier hingemacht? Den Origin zu versetzen. Origin.
Uh, set the origin uh, second from the top. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, here, um, adjust. So, uh, I love to origin to 3D cursor. You can uh, move the 3D cursor for uh, 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 different ways. So, as example, where is it? Ah, here. You can move the cursor, or you can set up it for um, for your for your mouse. That you can click with the cursor. But on this way, you can be sure it's zero zero zero, and this is the point you have to uh, you need. And then you go into object mode, click on object, set origin. Okay, I forgot to activate this object. And so you moved the origin to this point. And then is your export working? That the object is moved to the right. Yeah, this is important. Just just that that, that this is one of the points you have to know that this uh, little dot is important where it is. So if it's not in the center, then um, then it's maybe uh, uh, somewhere else when you have exported it as it as match. Is it as exported as a match? Mesh. My God, my English today. So let's jump back, 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 back. So and this one we set back on zero 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 zero. Okay. So, what is needed? It's needed to triangulate always your objects. This is pretty simple. Control T. Back. Control T. It's triangulate faces. There you have uh, 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 options you can make it uh, beauty fix or whatever. So, I just make it beauty. And this is nothing. Um, complex and usu usually it don't break your model or your surface but by um, it's better when you when you check it if it's working yeah so don't trust it just check it um, but it's needed for export so because blender um, stellars cannot work or any game cannot work with uh, end guns or uh, squares it always need to be uh, triangulated faces always next one next important is you need to know where is wo sind die jetzt wieder ich kann kotzen um wo zeigt es denn einem hier die Normals an? Das war auch mal hier. Und mal hier. Nee. Die Normalrichtung, was ist? I think it's hang on. Um, die Normal. Uh, the viewport overlays. Uh, I can hang on. I'll just quickly share my screen. So. It's this one. Ich bin. Wo, wo, wo bist du da hingegangen? Ach, da oben. Ja. Und dann? Ah, uh, das ist ja Face Orientation. So Face bei Geometrie. Orientation. Face Orientation. Nee, das ist es nicht. Nee, 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 nee. nee. Das zeigt die normalen an. Blau ist ähm, richtig orientiert, rot ist falsch orientiert. Das war früher mal ein Stift. Der war ja, Punkte. früher war es ein Stift. Jetzt oh ist es ein 2. Okay, okay, they changed, they changed uh, in version. Um, the face orientation, it must be blue, the outside, and the inside is red. So when you flip it, when you flip it, uh, we can flip, we can flip this one. Let's flip. The face flip. Normal. 
flip. So now it's flipped, and if you have this this situation that you have um, blue normals and red normals, where you can see here face orientation, then you have in game no surface on the red part. This is then invisible, or better, it's visible from the inside. Yeah, so it's urgent needed to have it blue at all. Okay, so this point is also clear. And what we have next? Next is you need to have a UV map. Mostly you have a UV map, but in the case you haven't, you can press U. But you need to activate all uh, in the m edit mode. You have to activate all faces, and you need to press U. Then you can make a simple unwrap or anything what you maybe find useful. I like as example here key protection. So it's working pretty well. It's happened. And we can make a second window and check how it looks. UV editor. So you see that we have the UV now on this model. Next step, we need to have a texture, or better to say, we need to have a material. Don't misunderstood that you make a texture to this model. You make a material to export. The texture you can make on this model, you won't uh, it will not be part of the export. I will show you. This is important. Simply, before you export, you create with the Blender exporter and PDX material. Create. Name it Triple A. To better findings. Give it the PDX mesh trans uh, standard. Finished. That that is all. So and then you, when you export, you just need to switch every single object to this material. Huh? This is the point. Is this is working? Yeah. This is the point. What happens in the GFX file um, in 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 uh, Stellaris? .gfx needs a name for this object. This is what is right here. Not this part, this part. It, it's given a name. So as as example, uh, this part is naming in gfx file. Um, so then you have in GFX file this this part is naming in GFX file. This is important um, for larger projects uh, like um, Starbase with 10, 20, 30 different objects. It's maybe a bit difficult. Yeah. So then you have mm, to work here with a better naming, better name framing and 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 so you have a better sorting and uh, exported version of the GFX file. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to make it by hand. I I noticed that this part of uh, this uh, ROS G exporter is not very well. Uh, the other we had before, I can provide it as well um, because it's still on GitHub, which is von Oni Noni and EMP, EMP and only Noni pr um, coded that other one. That will export um, a little bit buggy mesh file, but a perfect GFX file. So it's my it's my idea to export a perfect mesh file with this exporter 
and a perfect GFX file with the other exporter and ignore the uh, buggy mesh file from the other exporter. So it's 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 very it's, it's much simpler and it's working. I used it very well. It's it's, it's super fast. It's okay. Maybe someone will find a better way. Anyway, this way of uh, materials working for working for the export. If you have to model anything, you maybe need another material so you can make a new one. So uh, let's remove. Oh, okay, yeah, in edit mode it's not working. So let's remove this one. We already can make it. Uh, can go back to it. So uh, let's give it a texture. Open. Oh, Scheiß Windows. Eh? I hate Windows. Where it is. Where I am. Okay. Terminate with Windows anymore. <laughs> Where are pictures? I was in pictures recently. Okay, DDS file, so. And here you see still that. Uh, yeah. Oh, here. Okay. So. It's just a picture of code. <laughs> Um, but you see, it's working as a cube. But on this way, with this material, it won't able be um, to export. It will it will drop an error. So this is why I um, remove it to the triple A PDX material. There it works. And now, I'm pretty sure we have all important points. Yeah. At least we can make... Um, we can make an additional cube. And you don't need the camera and the light will be ignored, but I will delete it always. So, okay. And this is then the safe mesh export. I tested it before. Make test two. Export mesh. And here you see the green bar, uh, the blue bar, that it's working. So, for here, I can delete it and can make unload mesh, test 2, import mesh, and it's here. So this is this is uh, the gar guaranteeing that you have it exported as you wanted. Yeah. Um, and usually, usually it's working as intended in Stellaris. Sometimes you need to... <laughs> um, sometime it's need to um, check in game at the beginnings it's always better if you check it it's always better um, as you see I imported that mesh file with load mesh and you see now here the name I given this part is naming in gfx file and second, I copied and pasted. 
this is this is what what is in JFX file in in this file no um, at this point you need to write the GFX file by hand yeah but it's not that bad idea to make it by hand then you know what you're doing this is important when you don't know what you're doing then you never understand it fully so start it slowly and when you make it uh, uh, and you're familiar with it and you're used with it I can show you the pretty simple exporter from Oni Noni at this point any one of you could not export and import again this cube I need an answer It's working. Okay, um, Russ, can you please upload to here the file you wanted to export? That we have an example for better imagination. Just drop it in the channel. So Simon, you have many of ours in uh, Blender. Uh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, yeah, I do have quite a few hours. So you made some cool stuff? Uh, depends on your taste. Star Trek ships. Uh, actually, I do have one, yes. Hang on. What the fuck is GTLF? Kennst du den Code? Äh, den, 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 das Format? Äh, uh, uh, which one? Der Welches? Der andere gepostet. Äh, uh, uh, no. What the heck? Das What the heck is GLTF? Can you, can you export, can you, can you make, when you have it in your blender already imported, please make an export with FBX. With F B X. <laughs> so maybe you could um, support RAS with some um, exporting stuff, or maybe editing stuff, and whatever Blender stuff. <laughs> Maybe because Russ is pretty new in in the tool, so he just want to to uh, uh, make uh, the position to export a model he like and not need to have a um, guy like me, yeah, or anyone else, so that he can export. And if 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 you be able to create animations or ships or whatever, it would be pretty useful uh yeah but well to be honest modeling ships isn't really uh well uh, my best talent mm, the same as i started uh if you if you're not now where is it russ you go to file you go to export and you press then fbx Maybe you don't find it here, it's in the stream, you see it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, th that's all, yeah, that's all. So what we can make more, what we can make more, more we can make is how it's working with animations, yeah. 
this is an um, entire new uh, world to me too, uh, because uh, the previous exporter I uh, had not a chance to rig models and export that with the rigged uh, part. So I need to remember how it works. <laughs> uh, God, God damn it! Uh, it added an armature. Okay, an armature. So for everyone else who don't know what is the armature. This is an amateur. Yeah, the start point is always on zero zero zero. Yeah, you can grab it here. You can grab it. Oh no, this is in the object mode. Uh, but in the edit mode, you can grab it here, here, and here. Okay, then th thanks, thanks. So okay, back, back, back. Russ, are you back? And it would be nice if it's not need to be read. So, uh, I hope. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see my back. X downloads. Okay. Okay. This is one of the important points you n m have to move the ship into that point w that it the turn angle the turn angle of the ship is where the origin is the origin is uh, currently right now here in the, um, in the uh, uh, on the bridge yeah if this is not not a good turn point yeah then then it will move like a very long um, uh, transporter on street, uh, so oversized on transporter. <laughs> it wouldn't look so pretty well. So for this, I moved it a bit. Yeah, that uh, the the center is here, where the engine is anywhere. Huh? So maybe here, and then it's pretty interesting here. What the heck? Okay. Do you have uh, some textures? Would be cool. So um, let's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's move origin to 3D cursor. So, okay, moved. So as you see, the dot is now here, and it's gone here. Uh, okay. Um, okay, that looks nice. Hmm? Hmm, the textures are full size, that's what I was wondering. Mm, yeah, the problem is that uh, Stellaris is not working with these textures. What the heck is that? Roughness, okay. And decals yeah it's nice but this is a problem <laughs> um, i mean technically speaking with the uh, right nodes we could turn those texts into the right ones then bake them onto a new texture so that we get the uh, texas the Lord's needs sorry uh basically the 
As you're probably aware, there's color separation nodes, basically uh, separating the red, green, and blue channel. And then we could use uh, separate all those textures and then uh, the whole channels. And then bake the results so that the Solaris engine can use uh, the right or can use the textures we provided with. Hier ist der Scheiß, ist der jetzt nicht runtergeladen? Ist der jetzt im Browser drin? Ach, ey. Das ist jetzt pretty slow hier. <lacht> okay, so give me this. Und Layers, Transparency, Color to Alpha, Black, okay. Okay, Copy, Paste. Good. Okay, no. Export to GDS. Layer export. And to here. So, this one wants a texture. Go to image texture. Huh? Uh, here. DDS. Wieso ist es jetzt noch rot? Zeigt denn das das nicht an? Base Color zeigt er einfach nicht an. Naja. Okay. And this one.
is more or less what it looks like in game. So, at least I would make a bit smoother. So for this, I would go to here, and then it's need. Hey. Uh, da -da -da -da. Merge by distance. Bam. And you need the UV. Shading. Smooth faces. Okay. And then you go back into object mode. Now you see it's a bit broken, clumpy, and then you go to this modifier and make an edge split, and then you have repaired that, you need to apply that, without it will won't be uh, part of export, and then you see the, the saucer is much smoother, yeah, as much better, same as to the muscles. I guess Russ, you 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 like it now. <laughs> what it not can make is um, it cannot make a perfect circle. So you see already here the edges on a circle, and you see it's not perfect on this part and this part. When you check it this angle, you see here it's black uh, fading. Uh, same as here. So to be honest, I am. Um, going to ignore this small part because you get a huge chain of quality in form of smoother saucer just a few black parts and people won't be able to see it because they have no skill to watch <laughs> they, see, they only see oh it's looking so great so yeah that's all what it they see it's looking great that's all so okay, but at this moment we cannot export. Why? Obviously, because we have the wrong texture on it. Yeah, so we need to change the texture to the triple A. You see, we created a lot, but the triple A will all be on the, on the top. This is the reason why we triple A. So, and uh, same we do. Switch over to triple A. Okay, so we can we can again check uh, here the face orientation. Oh, it looks blue. Oh, it looks good. So we can disable it again, and then we need to check the mesh. Is this triangulated or not? We have no idea because we cannot count every single we cannot check every single edge so we simply check the numbers here below 27k so we will triangulate and nothing happens to the numbers so it it was already triangulated it's okay it's fine it's top it's awesome next what is this what is this Look, look that, look that, look that. <laughs> so we have this part, this is here, then this part, this is that, this part, it's here. So it's 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 really not needed. It's really not needed. So let's delete it. So okay, it's flipped. Woo, no problem. Uh, a. Activate R, R, like rotate, 90 degrees, 90, I, I, I typing, 90, enter, move it down, and here, so, yeah, whatever, 
but we can you can uh, translate it to with this tools here hey not this this okay so yeah and zero 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 whoop same with that zero 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 whoop and we back to the origin position okay maybe it's better when you know apply the rotation here apply all transform transforms that's okay and then what's next let me let me let me check oh yeah weapons you you want to have weapons yeah okay we make it much simpler so let's take this and move it out of the way and okay that's much uh, 50 okay 20 50 50 this is okay so and we import Windows. Where I am? Maybe here? No. Oh, here. Okay. It documents. <laughs> uh. Oh fuck. It's wrong. Oh, maybe not wrong. Wo habe ich denn meine Git Ordner? Die sucht man hier. Ah. Scheiße. Ah, ich hasse Windows. Nee, das ist falsch. I'm so used to, 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 to think Linux. And and this is completely brain fucked to me. Where is my stuff? Oh here. Uh, oh, oh here. I have it. Can I copy the link here? Okay. And paste here. And then I go to here and there. Ships. It's 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 anyway any ship. So we go to federation. We go to. Okay, we go not to federation. We go to a simpler ship set. <laughs> Let's go to. Let's go to. <laughs> yeah, anything. B B B B B B B B. Um, Preen Preen is working. Preen is working. Preen is most Preen is good. So Preen covert core A. I am importing this one. And cool. <coughs> It's importing backwards. Why is it importing backwards? Yeah, maybe it's wrong. Uh, then you have to rotate it later. <laughs> so anyway, so we take this model and delete it. Then we take these empties. These called empties. We can add these objects here. Plane axis empties. But we have to name it. So what what uh, uh, what I did is I import the naming con uh, the, the already named part. So it's it's this one we don't need. This one we need part one. This is what we need, and what we also need is root. Why well, we have no root? So you can copy and paste this one. This is part one. We rename to root. Okay, so
and we can move it to zero 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 whoop same to part one zero 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 okay so and now we can move our weapons to, uh, to the positions we want we have here six weapon locators and we can sort it out where it's the best position so I have no idea where is the best position, so I place it right here. Uh, yeah, there are six weapons right now. <laughs> so and then we take this one and ah, ah oh yeah, okay. I forgot to. Okay, so, <laughs> and then this here. Okay. Yep, exactly where I want. And then I take all medium guns. Yep. And place it. Yep. And I take all small guns. And with S, with S you like scale, you can scale. So I scaled inside the torso. And then we are finished. So overall, that's, 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 uh, that, that's all. We have a texture for the model, which we can look in inside. Um, oh yeah, this is the code. It's the wrong texture now, but it's so cool. <laughs> so uh, d d d d should be this one. No, should be that one. That one. Yeah. Okay. The point is, um, right now we have no. Um, Uh, glossy metallic and roughness and 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 we can create it later for now it's enough to have a diffuse map so you can use this export DDS file as diffuse and then you have um, a ship without glowing yeah it's not glowing um, that you get that you have to uh, make a solution with um oh give me a second this looks not so good but okay today maybe maybe it looks good okay so <coughs> jump back jump back jump back so this is okay this is also triangulated and I guess we have everything. So we have locators. What we not have is a um, bone uh, for an uh, animation. But in Star Trek, ships um barely animated. So for this models, we don't need this. A model like Orion, Orion's ship, um, which has a, a circling um, nozzle whatever warp thing this could um, be cool to have something like uh, uh, animation so so we could make for for Orion's animations so for for some other ships too but for this we don't need a um, bone and rigged we don't need it so all we need to have right now is these AAA material the triangulated uh, mesh the locators that all the locators are um <coughs> give me a second yeah no it's okay it's okay um and the, the, the origin is on zero 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 yeah you see it here on the cross zero 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 and we have checked the normals that is always blue and then let's try it so maybe we get an arrow we will see 
save mesh. Three. It's taking a time because it's not uh, buffering uh, through the. Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's working. Questions? Mm, not for me. I guess Russ is falling down from this chair. Not for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is how I export already graded models. Finished. Ending. So that is why I can now stop this record.